Out of this entire fitness world, fitness YouTubers, fitness people, I'm without a doubt the smallest there is. The skinniest. And I, I joke about it and it's, it's fun, but in reality I, 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 I hate it. I, I, I hate being skinny. Fitness social media, an amazing place which can be motivational, insightful, inspirational for people, but at the same time, it can also be extremely unrealistic. Out of the 100 photos you take of yourself, you always search for the best one. The one where you look your absolute best and which is going to attract the most likes to your social media. I just want to say though, I don't think there's a problem with that. I can't blame anyone for doing that. I do it myself. I post the good photos of me. It's great for my confidence and everyone I know also does it because you feel good. While there's honestly no problem with posting these good photos of yourself, you also need to realise that this is the 1% of time. 99% of the time, these people don't look anything like these photos. Good lighting big pumps many different factors contribute to how you look and that's what i want to try today see how many factors i can manipulate to change how my physique looks in the space of only five minutes before we actually do the five minute transformation we need to go over different factors which you can manipulate to change how you look i came up with a list the five components to make you go from this to this Okay, realistically, it's definitely not going to be that drastic. Component one, we have lighting, or otherwise known as half natty lighting. Good lighting completely changes how your physique looks. For example, this is me under good lighting. Then if I move back a tiny bit, this is me under bad lighting. Yeah, it makes a difference. Component number two, we have the pump. When you train your muscles, you get blood pumping to them. And for a short period of time, it makes them appear bigger. When trying to get the perfect photo, you want your pump to be at a max. Training in high rep ranges increases the amount of blood that flows to the muscles, i.e. increasing the pump. For photos, the specific muscles that you pump up are important. Stuff that can't really be seen, like the legs in the back, you don't need to worry about. But muscles like the chest, shoulders and arms, they're what really make you pop on a photo. Component number three, we've got posing, aka something I am god awful at. Learning to pose is a must for bodybuilding shows, so it's the same for photos and videos. If you're good at posing, you can show off the muscles better, giving the illusion that they're bigger. Component number four, filters. And no, we're not talking about Photoshop. If you use that and you lie about it, you're just a dick. Bob filtering is when you play around with the colors and it can be used to make your physique look a little better. Here's a photo I took the other day. I added a couple filters, played around with the colors and changed it to this. A very small but noticeable difference. Finally, component number five, food intake. What you eat before the photo is important. Eating stuff with a lot of glucose and stuff with a lot of salt increases the pump, basically making you look bigger. Compared to some bad stuff like fizzy drinks, milk, they'll make you bloat up and ultimately make you look worse. And there's also this. This is a specific pump supplement. I'm gonna be completely honest. I have no clue whether it works or not, but apparently they work, so that's another thing. So that's what I believe to be the five components which can really change how someone looks for a photo or video. So with all that being said, I wanna put it to the test. A five minute transformation. One photo taken five minutes later the next one but how we're gonna do this is a little bit weird let me explain unlike the traditional transformations where you see the before and after to make this work we need to take the after photo first i'm gonna pump up and take the after photo then in the next five minutes i have to make myself look as rubbish as possible to prepare myself for the before photo this video if i'm being honest i'm scared to make because my, my body's my biggest insecurity without a doubt so me exposing myself and showing how i look without all these glamorous effects it, it's scary, but I know that it's for a good reason, so it's gonna be done. So, let's get a pump for the after photo. Before the pump, I made sure to do the component of food intake. I had some crisps which had a lot of salt in, and some foods which were high in sugar. For the next component, I needed to get a good pump. <sighs> I made sure to train the show off muscles, so the chest, the shoulders, the biceps, trying to get as much blood flowing into the muscles as possible. Once that was done, it was time to take the shots of the physique. This is where the lighting component came in. Downward lighting is the key, so I positioned myself under a bright light in the garage. The next component was posing. Remember, I absolutely suck at this. I got some shots of my physique. For me, I was pretty happy with how I was looking. Now for the fun part. Now we're going to take the before photo. So, five minute timer. Start now. I needed to make myself look as rubbish as possible for this. From a tactic I acquired a Furious Pete. Diet lemonade has a lot of carbonation in it mixed with chocolate milk. These will make you bloat like mad. Okay, so now I've got to get this stuff down me in the next three minutes, 50 seconds. Just chug all of this to get me as bloated as possible. It's not a good combination. Uh, 
Ugh. Right, let's take these after photos. I positioned myself under the worst lighting with no pump, completely bloated, and this is what I got. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking my absolute best. Now we put the two photos together and look at that. It looks like two completely different people. I used the last component, which was the filter on the after photo, basically just trying to emphasize the physique a bit more. And then the final result looks like this. So yeah, it's pretty mental how much these factors can all contribute to how someone can look on a photo. Obviously, I don't ever look as good as the one on the right, and I don't look as bad as the one on the left. That's me at my absolute worst. Kind of somewhere in the middle, but it shows. Don't always see these photos of people on social media or these videos of people on social media and think that's what they're always looking like. Because how someone really looks can change on so many factors don't stop posting the sick photos of yourself i'm gonna still post the good photos myself you feel sick about it and it's amazing just take into account that the people who do post these photos they're not always gonna look like that and i think that's gonna be the end of the video mad experiment i was very nervous to do this because obviously i'm showing myself at my absolute worst which isn't a good look for me but i'm glad i did it it was a really cool experiment and the results are just mental. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next video. Yo, what's up guys, hope you're having a great day. Uh, as you can see, not that many people who watch the videos are actually subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the subscribe button. Yeah, thanks guys.